Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what we got here is a uh, General Electric 5KC43MG86A. It's a half horsepower, 56 frame, uh, 1725 RPMs. Supposed to pull about 7.9 amps on 115 volts, 3.9 on 230. Uh, the start capacitor is uh, 400 to 480 uh, microfarads. While you're looking at this, is um, I performed a unnecessary but very cool uh, exchange. Um, I made the pretend problem with this motor to be a non-functioning um, uh, uh, centrifugal start switch. Um, so how I did that was by removing the centrifugal start switch. <laughs> so if it's not physically in the motor, it, it's not going to work. Um, so um, there was no magic to it. There was just a few wires to clip off of it. Um, I made the terminals meet back with their uh, corresponding wires. Um, what I had to do was to um, desolder one wire off the capacitor, solder on another wire to the capacitor, and wire in this solid state relay. Um, the solid state relay um, is uh, programmed, uh, or not really programmed, uh, resisted, I should say, on the inside to um, come back on um, in the event that the um, uh, voltage uh, drops below, um, I think it's somewhere around 40 volts or so. Um, some of them are a little bit more sensitive, some of them not as sensitive, but uh, we'll uh, give it the 40 volt thing. So, um, uh, taking a heavy cut or something like that and uh, that voltage dips uh, below 40 volts uh, it will enact the start capacitor and the start capacitor will get a shot from the uh, capacitor into the start winding which will attempt to bring the motor back up to speed um, obviously if you're taking too monster of a cut too many times and stuff like that you are going to wear out just about any motor but um, if you're in the um, uh, the range of duty um, that you're trying to ask a motor to do uh, uh, some heavy work um, this will um, be good up to um, it says 25 amps um, but that is um, subject to heat um, if there's a lot of heat involved obviously the ratings will go down um, other than that um, uh, what was involved with removing the uh, centrifugal switch was basically to remove the motor from the cradle mount if you don't have a cradle mount it's a lot easier this one was a cradle mount so I had to disassemble it from the cradle um, as you can see, I have a reference mark here. Um, there's long bolts that go through it. Remove the long bolts, knock the end cap off of it, and uh, uh, it exposed the centrifugal start switch, which was mounted inside of the motor. Um, cutting a couple of wires off of it, removed it quite easily. There was just a single pin on one side of it and two screws on the other side of it that uh, held it in. Um, just for anybody that is interested, this is the actual wiring diagram for 115 volts. And that is exactly how this wire is, or excuse me, this motor is wired up right now. Um, I guess uh, you guys probably heard enough of me yapping about this. You want to see this thing run. Well, I'm going to plug it in and uh, you guys could watch it run and I like a moron had the switch flipped the wrong way <laughs> and did not know it but even I missed it make mistakes you know, like that is isn't an often occurrence right okay so just for giggles here I'm gonna go ahead and Put a clamp on it. <laughs> Been told that a couple of times. Put a clamp on it.
Yeah, all right. So, uh, thank God for insulated wires, huh? Um, so here we go again. Um, now, this motor right now, there's uh, no charge going through it from the um, start capacitor. That's completely out of the circuit right now. Um, I, I don't know how to apply a load without flipping this chair over or whatever so i'm going to refrain from doing that but uh uh there's no other magic going on right at the second it's running on 115 volts the magic starts when you uh, click the switch for the first time um it has the ability to start this motor without needing one of these now you can probably do these all the way up to three or five horsepower i guess if you get a switch that's big enough but um other than that uh it's a good way to save an old motor if uh, you have no other recourse uh some of the parts for the old motors and stuff don't work so bueno well it, with this uh you can extend the life um this is a uh a 1960s uh, half horsepower motor so it's probably really really close to one half horsepower where uh, half horsepower uh, today and other motors uh, isn't exactly a half horsepower um other than that uh, thank you guys for uh watching me on this and uh i'm sure there's going to be questions and i'm happy to uh, answer um but uh, this is for a single phase start capacitor only if you have two capacitors this same setup doesn't exactly work the same way um there is ways of making this reversible but it gets it a little bit more complicated but yes there are ways of doing that so um i'll talk to you guys soon thanks